In this video, we want to discuss basic putting technique and good putting technique. So what does that mean? Well, in my opinion, I've got a saying that little jobs require big muscles and big jobs when we're taking out the driver and the likes, well, they do require little muscles. So we're doing little jobs here, which is putting. That means we want mostly your big muscles doing a lot of the work. So with regards to putting, there's a couple of things we really must do. And if you can include this in your practice and in your philosophy and the way you go about your putting, is to feel as if you are striking upwards on your putts, ever so slightly. I'm gonna over exaggerate this here, but we definitely want some upness in the contact. If we hit down on our putts, the ball's gonna skid a little bit too much. That might bump it offline and before it starts rolling forwards, you're not even on line anymore. So as soon as you can get that ball with a little upward strike on it, it will get the ball rolling faster. It will keep the ball on line for longer, which is what we're after. Now, when we say, let your big muscles do the work, we basically want to have, we don't want to have your arms straight because that's all stiff to me. We don't want to have your elbows bent because that's all a bit too unstable. However, your arms hang. Bang your hands together and you'll see there's just a slight bend in the elbow and that feels pretty relaxed to me. So if I'm feeling pretty relaxed, well, I'm, I'm doing well so far. So once your palms are together, if you're a right-handed golfer and you're using a, a standard putting technique, which is right hand low, left hand high, we just want you to rock your shoulders back and forth. And there's your putting technique right there. We don't want to add any body to that or any hips or any knees. We want to keep that all nice and quiet and just let your shoulders rock back and forth. So if we're going to have an upward strike on the ball, that means in terms of your basic technique, we want the ball left of the middle. So probably somewhere under your left eye line would be a good starting point and a very good basis. It's quite hard to check that sometimes on your own, so you might need a trained pair of eyes or a mirror in front of you. You can do some of this work at home. You can do some of this work in, in front of a mirror or a good window. So we want the ball left. We want our big muscles doing the work here. We want the putter to feel heavy, heavy in the head. That means we're not gonna go gripping it too tightly. We're just gonna hold it nice and gently. And we definitely want an element of upness. That means low and slow going back and up the way. Because that's what our shoulders do. Your left shoulder will go up. The putter will go up. That's what we want it to do, so don't fight against it. In terms of the distance from the ball, well, that's a little tricky and you need to, need to figure out what feels comfortable for you. A good starting point is always to have your eyes directly over the line of the ball. That's fine. Personally, I feel a little more comfortable a little bit further inside the line of the ball. So I like my eye line personally to be a little bit in here, but that's just my personal preference. Now there is a trick to that. You can set your putter in behind the ball, rock yourself back and forth until you feel as if, yep, that looks good to me. So for me personally, that's my starting position, which puts my eye line right there. It's about eight centimeters inside the line of the ball and that feels comfortable to me. But anything from there over the top of the ball is fine, but definitely nothing beyond the ball. That won't work out for your eyes at all. Okay, so we're gonna make a couple of practice putting strokes here. We're using our big muscles, letting the heaviness of the putter swing. We don't wanna try and force anything with our hands. You just simply hold onto the club, hold it gently, and then let the heaviness of the putter do the work for you. So having said that, straight back and straight through can't really happen unless you're using one of these style broomstick putters, or unless you're prepared to make some sort of a manipulation in your body to get the putter to move straight back and straight through. For maybe a tap in, it might be straight back and straight through because you're only having a small backswing. But for a, a putt of this length, let's say three and a half meters, there has to be, if our shoulders are moving in a slight arc, 
then that's what the putter head should be doing. So don't try to do it, but don't try to not let it happen. All we're going to do is hold it gently and let our shoulders do it. So if I overextend this putting stroke, if we were to make a putt that, of that size, that's what would happen to the putter. So in a very minuscule fashion, that's what will happen here. We want it to come slightly back inside. The club face will open up. That'll just happen all by itself. Back to where the ball is. And then the putter face should close over and start moving inside or left of your target. That's a natural putting stroke to me. Your shoulders are moving in an arc. The putter should move in a slight little arc. So let's go ahead and give this one a little roll here. We've got a little downhill left to right here. Okay, so apart from leaving it a tickle short, I'm not upset with it. it, was on line, I made a good positive stroke, and I certainly hit it on the upstroke. So for your confidence in putting, there's a couple of key points there that we want you to take note of. Heaviness in the putter, your distance from the ball, the ball position being slightly left of the middle so that you can strike or stroke the ball ever so slightly in your upward swing. I hope that helps with your confidence. We hope that that helps with your consistency in putting.